and I played for um, the Special Olympics for Great Britain and I've won loads of medals. Um, I went to Shanghai and I won a gold in the ladies, sorry, singles and I won a silver in the ladies doubles. Um, that was very hot there. <laughs> well, Sarah's got moderate general learning difficulties and she struggles with reading and writing and understanding uh, what's written down. Plus, if she gets slightly stressed, then she can't do any of those things. I was very apprehensive about Zara travelling on her own. Um, the local travel agent was happy to accept Zara as a passenger, and they said, oh yes, we do uh, meet and assist um, for people like Zara. Well, when we arrived at the terminal, um, we gave in the tickets and what have you, and, and we said, is this special assistance in place? And he said, um, well, it's here on the computer, but we don't do it anymore. I felt upset. I felt very ill because I get like this really big stomach pain. I didn't really want to go. I said, you're telling me that you only provide assistance if you're in a wheelchair, you're deaf and you're blind? He said, yes. I said, but that is discriminatory. He said, yes. The only way I could get special assistance was if someone treated me as a child and had to sign me off to um, different airline people. Well, when they offered me the child package, I was annoyed, but then I had to bite my tongue and say, well, we'll have to accept it then if it's the best that they could do. But I knew that they were wrong. It was a matter of urgency because I had to think about how we were going to get Zara back from Australia. Well, when I got to Australia, to Sydney, they thought I was 13 years old. And I was like, no, so I said, why have you got this? I said, because I've got a disability and I need someone to escort me. On the return journey, I telephoned the man who wrote the letter to me. When I got to Sydney, they said, yeah, they um, got it and they looked after me. I think they looked after me more on the way back than they did on the way there. No matter what your disability, whether it can be seen or not seen, you are entitled to help and airlines are obliged by law to give that help.